Hello all and welcome. This is a tutorial video on how to install Empire 2 Mod 4.3. This is the updated stuff. I finally got it installed on my computer. I did the manual installation. I find that that was easier for me. So this is going to be a manual installation tutorial without using the installer. Link on the description to your site here on ModDBU where you can download this mod. But before we start downloading stuff, let's go to our desktop because there's a couple of things that I would recommend doing. First is bringing some file explorers up, putting them around here to where you can, it'll be easy to move files. So first, let's go to the desktop and let's create a folder. So create your folder and you, and I'll delete that because I've already done it. You want to title that ETW2. So make sure, um, doesn't really, doesn't really matter on the name, but I just did ETW2 so you can, bring it up when we install it so that'll be a blank folder so make sure you put that on your desktop next thing you want to do is bring up another file explorer and take that to your downloads because that's going to be easy to uh, locate everything next you want to bring up your file explorer go to where your steam is installed and click on steam steam apps and then leave it there and common will be there so just leave it there the next one file explorer you want to bring up is go to your C drive and then your users file and then it'll show your name and it'll show app data here now if you don't have that if you've not done this before go ahead and go you might need to check the view panel and just check hidden items that'll bring app data up and you'll be able to click that here and then go to roaming and then scroll all the way down to the creative assembly and there's empire and leave that there so we have our blank folder that you have etw2 we're good to go let's go to the site on mod db and you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click manual installation for v4 full release now when we do this i would recommend having maybe about 60 gigabytes free so then you click download that might take some time depending on your internet speed when it is done you will then go to your downloads and you will see it. It is a zip file, we have to extract it. So you want to double click, click here, and just click on extract. And then you want to direct it to that ETW2 blank folder that you just created. And then click OK. I've already done it, so I'll just exit, but click OK. It will take some time, so just let it finish. You want to go back to the main page and you will see these small fixes from CC's PC. You want to click that, that'll take you to a Google Drive. You click on the main title here and then click download. When it has downloaded, you will see it here. Double click, you want to extract and you can just extract it to your desktop because it's not a big file and then it'll be right there. Let me move, yeah, it'll be right there. So after you've done that, go back to ModDB Go back to files and then find the manual patch empire 2 v 4.3 it's not a, it's not as not a biggest file which is good so just click the download and then once that finishes it will be in your download but i just clicked and dragged it to the desktop right here because it's not it's not a big file also so now you have empire 2 mod 4.0 4.3 in the files from files from CC, we can now install it manually. I'm actually recording this later, but I'm putting it in now because the first thing you want to do is go to your ETW2 folder. You want to go to prerequisites, and you want to go. This is all your um, C++ redistributable. You want to go install. Double click on install, and it will go through a process of installing the the Microsoft C++ stuff that it needs. What we're going to do, I'm going to double click this. It'll bring up the file explorer for that, for the mod. And here's what we're going to do. We are ready. So you want to go ahead and click on Empire Total War. You want to click copy. And when you copy it, we're going to go to your Steam file explorer where you have Steam and then Steam apps. You click, right click common and then click paste and then it will paste all the files in there overriding all the Empire Total War files that you have and you want to click yes to everything to replace them overwrite them and let that finish might take some time just let it let it 
do its thing and it will finish. Then the second when it when it has finished, the second thing you want to do is you want to go to the scripts here. And you now you want to go to Empire 2 scripts and you can do either one you want. You can do early, you can do late. You can do this multiple times whenever you want to change stuff. Um, so, but you have to start a new campaign when you do it. So you want to do early or late. I did early and you can do no, this is going to be also show you how to do VDM. You can not do VDM if you want, and it's the disease mod. So you click on VDM. The, here's the script file. You copy that script file, and then you want to go to the file explorer where we went to the app that the weird hidden app data one roaming creative assembly. You go to empire two. You go to the scripts file and then you can right click paste it there and you overwrite it all you can just click yes to overwrite and it will overwrite it. you can probably do it here as well because it has the same it has the same path installed for your scripts so whenever you want to change it the scripts is right here on your empire folder with the creative assembly you can just switch but when you when you find a script you want, you just copy it, go back to, go back one more, and just paste the script file right there. You have to do that. You have to do that to change those script files in that other location. That is pretty much 4.0. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to put in 4.3. So I'm just going to click 4.3, click that off. We're going to click on Empire Total War, Extract, and you just direct it here. You go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Click on Common, highlight it, and click OK. It will then ask to overwrite Yes to All, and just let it go. It shouldn't take that long. Once that is done, we have a couple of more things to do, so we're almost we're almost there. So you want to go to the files from CC that you have, open that. So now you bring up the files from CC folder. You do Empire Total War. You go to right click, copy, and then you go click on the one where you have Steam Apps, Common. Click here and paste. It will then you will then click Yes to overwrite. I'm going to show you how also how to get VDM working, launch it through a certain way for VDM. So this is how you get that set up. You want to then go to where Steam is. You want to go to Common, and we're going to go to the Empire folder itself, Empire Total War. You want to go to Data. You want to well, it's usually at the top. From well, I guess it's all the bottom. We're going to go to this Wally. This is how the VDM works. So then what you want to do and what you do here is you scroll down to this launcher underscore ETW and this is very specific so make sure you do this you want to right click it and you want to you want to copy that so then when you click on your desktop right here you go to paste shortcut it directly paste that shortcut it will then be right here so you just double click it and before you do that, make sure. So now we have the launcher here that we will use from now on to launch Empire Total War with that VDM. You, you probably ask, oh, well, how do I change the campaigns or any of the thing? So I will show you that real quick. So what you want to do, you go to data on your Steam Common Empire Total War, go to data, and then go to campaigns. Now this is what you will this is what you will be so if you want late campaign or early campaign um, whichever see I'm doing early so you know what we'll do early you'll do the same thing for late so we'll go early and say I do want VDM or I don't want VDM does it you do the same process so I'll do VDM and you go to scripting you go to copy and then you go you go back go back to early and then you will do the paste that That'll do the scripting, and then you can change that. Here I will mention is that if you want VDM, uh, grab both of those, the desktop INI and the scripting, copy them, go back, and then paste them right there and replace them. 
also if you you also have to add the same one so just in case you want to go to early VDM this is where your mod extracted folder here early VDM change that script you copy that script and then you go to scripts paste that script I th I'm pretty sure we already did that earlier but just in case always do it again overwrite it and there you go and whenever you do want to change it you can just go here to the your roaming file on app data and there it is your scripts all your scripts are located here you can change those whenever you want to go to early or late no VDM or with VDM so then you pretty much are set to start so what you do launch this it'll show up Wally 1.0 and then you just click launch whatever you do do not show mod manager do not click that and all of a sudden it launches for me this is the exact same way that I installed it so hopefully it works for you yes this is 4.3 and I have the early campaign on VDM and this is how I did it and it worked so hopefully you found this to be helpful and that you can also play the mod I am going to be doing a series on this so whatever you what do you think and I'm I've had some suggestions of Russia I've had some I'd like to do Sweden maybe I don't know we'll see I'd like to do early since I did late with United States if you want United States I'll change it back to late no biggie let me know what you guys want but this has been a how-to video on to get Empire 2 version 4.3 manual installation onto your PC Hopefully this worked for you as well as it did for me. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I have some other mods going. Remember to like and share the video. It helps the channel and we will see you again soon.